Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands. Yo, what's going on everyone? Weetles here. Welcome back to the channel and what we've got for you all today is how to get on top of Nactar and Totem using the teleport method with the Aether Shroud. Now this is one of the easiest ones what's been found by far. It's super easy to get in, you can jump off, you can get back in, you can also make three different zombie pileup glitches. You're going to be safe from the dogs, zombies and the boss guy. So it's one of the best glitches, really easy to get in and out, so we're going to show you that in a minute. I would just like to say, this one was found by the Bark Gun, check him out, his link will be in the description. He hit me up on Playstation last night, showed us a little clip, then I went exploring, and we got all these spots. So check him out, we're going to show you now. All you got to do is aim to that rock, now you can be standing anywhere as long as you're not too far away from the wall. Activate it and you pop straight in. Now if you come over and jump up behind the perk machine, edge back just a little, all the zombies are going to pile up and it's going to create a great little spot for the zombies and the dogs can't touch you, the big guy can't touch you, I've tested this out myself, you can also get the drops in this one, as long as you land close to the wall. Now the second spot is just over here, now there is a death barrier in the middle of this but you can just walk past and you'll be fine. It's optional for quick revive, it's up to you, you can get it because if you've got that upgraded to stage 3, death barriers can't touch you. I think it's actually stage 2, I'll have to check that one, up, one out for you. So this is where all the zombies are going to pile, they'll also do a little cool glitch if you go close to them, one's going to follow you and it's going to start falling down and through the map, you'll see that in just a little bit. But that's a great little spot, all the zombies pile up as you can see, the dog, he comes, he tries to jump at you, but he'll just fall straight through. Now I'm going to show you this here, this is where I grab the zombie and look, he chases me and falls through. It's quite funny. And that's that one. Also, when the boss comes, he's going to stand over behind all the zombies and he is going to throw his yellow stuff at you, but it's going to completely miss you as long as you're standing back on the netting. So that's that one, that's actually a really good pile up too for going rounds and just showing your friends whatever you want to do. Now this is the third spot I managed to drop down top of and all the zombies are going to pile up over at the door. Now I've got a shotgun which doesn't reach so if you're coming on this one using an assault rifle or an LMG or something like that. But that's it pretty much guys, it's a great little spot. Remember to check out the founder, the bark gun, it's links in the description as always. It's been Wheatles. And I'm out.